Hello YouTube. This is my guide for early game progression. Okay. So we're gonna go to all the champions or heroes and speak on them on on how easy they are. Well, let's base it on a couple of things. How easy they are to obtain and how easy they are to basically upgrade. Because when you're talking about light and dark, unless you're a well, you're not going to be getting many. And in the late game, you will start getting them slowly, little by little. Uh, for you can get them in the portal of prey. The first portal of prey is absolutely free, and it's a 100% guarantee of whichever hero you pick on here. And the fountain of life is going to be the easiest way and the best free to play win. Uh, free, <laughs> free to play win, best free to play way. To get the light and darks and the food. Like you need so much food of them. That I recommend just always using. Once this opens up. Because early game. Only uh, the castle. And the dark. And this one is open. These three. But once you get. I'm not sure what the level is. On what uh, story mode you got to be. Because you have to get past a certain story mode right here to unlock the light and dark but once you unlock it definitely go for that okay so those are basically the only guaranteed ways of getting light and dark and me i'm not really a well so like i just literally 10 starred my uh seller and just 10 uh well i've had him 10 star that was my first one and uh, as you can see, if we go to Arena, I'm the first one. Like, I'm basically free to play. So I've just been playing pretty smart. Um, Bandmaid is the only one stronger than me. Uh, he's a well, but I can still get first. Um, I just played smart, guys. And I'll go over the guide later on another video. But right now we're going over the tier list. So off track. So don't worry about light and dark. You'll get those later on. You'll slowly start getting them. And we'll talk about that in another video. So early game. If you just started this game, I recommend using rares for the first, um, you know, until you start getting better heroes. Because uh, when you start the game, you're not going to have any of these or these or these. Any of the legendaries, you're not going to have. You might get some. And if you just got one, they're really not that good. Like the base, the base. Like if you're just like this, like base, they're not that good. You know, like base. So you would much rather use uh, the rares because you're going to get a whole bunch of rares early. And Steve is hands down the best rare you can use early game. He will get you through content. Uh, he, uh, I think on my alt account, I barely get on it, but I'm already like in st stage 20. Um, just from, just from Steve, like he has this, uh, move where he slashes, he does a whole bunch of damage, uh, and he becomes invincible while he's doing it. And he can double hit and he, you know, he gets crit and whatever, but he's, he's really good. So use him early. Uh, Jack is a good tank to use early. Um, you can take them to, you can take Steve to four stars, 
to uh, upgrade it till he's four purple stars. You can take this guy to four purple stars if you don't have a better tank. Again, uh, that's assuming, and if you get really lucky, like the best tanks is going to be Eric. Um, this is one of the three best tanks. This is my main tank that I use. Um, he's, he's just a, he's just a tank, like literally a buff muffin. And he, he has a shield that he uses on all your teammates. So when you have him really high HP, because basically all his moves scale on HP, max HP, the shield, the health that he heals. Uh, so you want to have him with a lot of HP. And, uh, like I'll show you mine. Right so, uh, mine, like I didn't really get the best rolls on, on the, on the tributes on the rune, but like a lot of HP, like max that for HP and then this gives him more HP. This is a shield at the start that scales off his HP, um, but you get the gist. He's really good tank. Another really good tank. The like the second best tank or first base tank. He's he's really really good. Just as good as Eric, in my opinion, is um, Cardinal. He also gives a shield and scales off of his HP. And uh, yeah, this is so. If you got if you got Eric, Cardinal, or uh, Lionel, which is the other, the three best tanks that are not light and dark. Obviously, if you have anything light and dark, use that. That's always better, but I'm talking about early game here. And Lionel, he, he basically becomes invincible right here restores health so he becomes invincible for three seconds and then he starts doing a melee attack that he spins and he starts getting health back up um see i have him too mine's not uh 11 stars yet but he is my next 11 star so he will be 11 star soon uh those are the three bit tanks so unless you have those i don't recommend using anybody else really so until you get one of those three, don't use any other tank. This guy, Seth, he sucks. Um, Norton, he's decent, but he's nowhere near as good as the ones I just named. Um, let's see. I Isla, she's actually pretty good. She's decent. Um, she's not as good as the three that I named, but she's she's good. She's like a good secondary tank. Um, I'm actually going to work on her. Uh, not soon, but soon after soon. You know what I mean? <laughs> like if we go to my uh, my darks, I'm, I'm going to work on this guy. Then her, then her. No, then him, then her. So, yeah. Uh... So let's go back. What else? Frode, he's not that good. Uh, he he's he's not a tank, but he can be a tank. He's like a really hard CC mage. I, honestly, I don't think he's that bad. But early, you don't want to mess with him. Um, later on, he becomes like a really tanky CC mage. He's not that bad. Um. But again, not as good as the ones I just named. This guy is just, he's not good either. He's hes tanky, but that's all he provides. He's just tanky and he doesn't, he's not as good as the ones I just named. Now, Ronald, uh, Ronald, uh, I actually used him all early game and I, I like them. Early game, he's actually pretty good. And if you get him in a spot, if especially if they position their heroes in a, in a bad way, 
you could definitely punish with this guy because he has this move that when he gets low he gets attack he gets a, a big attack buff and then his main all is uh, he charges an attack and pretty much one shots any squishy units and uh, stuns stuns them if he doesn't one shot like uh like the priest or or like other tanks he just one shots everything in the facility so he's he's pretty good i actually worked on him uh i'll show you mine and right now i got him with this because i want him to do more skill damage uh, the handsmith room this is one of the best blue rooms fyi and then uh just just a shield early so he doesn't die because he's not the tankiest he's more like a dps tank um more like a warrior than a than actual tank but he's he can tank some stuff and that's that's basically all the tanks um yep except for this obviously this guy if you have multiple copies of him use him and Katarina, if you have multiple copies of her, use her. But, um, oh, let me, side note. If you got a lot of copies of this guy, use him. He's actually not that bad. And early on, especially since, like, any anything you upgrade, you could always get it back. With, you could always get all the copies back. You can get all the food back. You can get all the resources back. So don't be afraid to upgrade things. And then, you know, and then just you can go back to the soul altar and get the levels back, get the star reset back. The only thing about this is I wouldn't do it, like, on actual legendaries because if you reset the legendaries and use legendaries to upgrade legendaries you won't get the legendaries back you'll just get it back in like uh like regular comments so don't use it for legendaries but when it comes to um like i'll show you like me like you could only max them out to four star which is fine for for like common you know things but he's actually not that bad like i use them as tanks when i run out of tanks when i'm when i'm in um like advanced arena like at the start i was using some of them now i i have enough people to use better people but i definitely still use them in uh sorry in guild battle and i'll show you so in Gid Battle, like in my teams, like I'll show you right here. Uh, he's right here. He's actually not a bad tank. Um, just he stays. He just stays long enough to where the other people can kill the, the the other team. And same with the light one. So if you have multiple copies, definitely just get them up. And then, if you need the copies to like eventually level up a seller, then you can always. Uh, get your units back and then use it like right here I'm using him which Jonas is a really good tank too like he has a stun uh, right here he does some damage reduces the target's energy by 80 deals an additional stunning effect for 4 seconds that's huge and lowers their energy and that you know that scales right here so he's not bad and like if I wanted to I could use them and then upgrade this girl to five stars, but she's really bad right now um, She's supposed to be getting a buff. So I'm waiting until she gets a buff But I do not recommend using this girl right now. She is terrible But like I said, I could use him and upgrade her if I wanted to um, But I'm probably just gonna actually just get this guy to four star and just keep using him as a tank because you need tanks a lot like the amount that they provide for your guys to stay alive is is tremendous so i recommend on always having at least one tank early game i guess some people 
they use Terrence as a tank and use no tanks, but that could only take you so far. That's not going to take you very far. Um, Terrence, honestly, I didn't even use him like the whole game. Like I had, I just have mine up because I wanted to try some st strategies with the uh, with this guy or this girl, uh, Lucian ripoff from League of Legends. Um, but honestly, she's so weak it do it just doesn't work because her move she can so she can chain someone and they go in the back line with an assassin and it causes damage. But I'm waiting till she gets buffed because right now it's, it's not that bad. It's not that good. But if you have a Terrence, like that's my other unit I'm using on my alt account. Like basically, um, I should probably move this to the start. I'll probably cut it and move it to the start just because of how important this is. But um, whatever you start off with when you're starting off with, and this doesn't unlock right away, you have to unlock it. Um, is the guild tech and i'm not i don't remember what level it starts off with but it, it you can unlock it within a week for sure um if you're playing every day um but you want to go off when you're starting off you want to go off this and eventually you want to go off the portal, uh, not portal, the Archov. You you want to get all your hero bombs for one, get friends, and get the heroes that you need that you're using to get the buffs. Because these buffs are are enormous. Like right now, like for my example, I need because I'm using a seller now because I didn't have her until recently, so. I need, oh yeah, I just added someone. So see, Rin, now I have someone that has, uh, you just need uh, three purple stars or higher, and then you get the full buff. And now look, so my seller just got way stronger just from that, because I just had 500 HP and 1% HP, but now I got 10% crit, which is honestly huge. And 100 attack, which is, you know, whatever. Uh, and then this third one, which is huge again, another 10% crit, which that's 20% extra crit. And then, you know, some, she got tankier, 10% 10, 10 defense, which is good, and, and, and just 50 defense, but it's whatever. But those buffs are huge. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, just look at this. Let me show you. I'll go back to that. So, my seller, which I still need to work on her gear. Like, I have all her gear, but I need to level it up and stuff and, and upgrade it and all that. But her power is uh, 356 right now. 916, right? So then... 356. All right, we go back to her. Look at that, 372. Just just from having a friend um, and just adding that in there, like having a friend that has the, the, the hero that I need to add on the bonds to get that buff. And it, it basically added, you know, a little bit under 20K. Uh, extra power which is huge like 20% extra crit is huge so yeah don't sleep on those uh, these hero bonds but I was going to go to the oracle crystal so man I get off track a little you know a lot but you want to base your units on what you're going to be upgrading in this hero crystal or uh, oracle crystal and in the guild tech. And if you want to be really strong, unless you're a well, because obviously 
none of this pertains to a well because a well can do pretty much whatever the hell they want because you know they're just gonna keep spending money but i mean this game does get pretty pricey it's not like you need a lot of even wells have a hard time upgrading everything like none of them are actually all upgraded because it's, it's actually really hard so what i did and how i got ahead like like i just showed you my arena rank like i'm one um my uh advanced arena 11 but i can get every every season i'm in top four of advanced arena top three top four every season i just don't use my um my things i just use the free ones every day which i haven't used today and i'll probably get a get to like eighth spot or seventh spot or whatever the, i don't know but then when when it's about to end like the season then i usually go all in with my uh my things so that's how i do that but i get top three in a, in advanced arena also so if you want to get like that and you want to stay relatively paid um free to play because the only thing i've really spent if 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 we go to um if we go to my um my things here i haven't bought any of these and i'm vip 11 so i have spent like i'm not saying i'm completely free to play but i'm definitely not a well i'm not even like considered a shark really like all i all i've gotten is this and honestly i didn't have this one until recently like sometimes i don't even have it for months i just get it when like i'm running really low on gems which i was uh but then i i cleared a whole bunch of um endless trial for some gems so i i ended up getting a lot now but um uh, getting sidetracked this Base it off of what you want to work on. Like, only focus on, like, two things mainly. So, like, for me, in my um, example, I went for the Rangers. And what I did was I went through all of these to max this one. Because this is the most important, the armor piece. And then I max I completely maxed out the attack percentage. And I completely maxed out the attack cuz all rangers need is attack. Like eventually I'll go back and and, and hit this uh percentage defense cuz the percentages are really good. Like all the percentages are really good. Like these are like meh. Like it's barely anything. Like these are barely anything, but you know, it's still 3400 attack, which is a good amount. Um so Basically, my teams correspond as three rangers. Um, so, I use three rangers in almost all my teams. Like, if we go to arena, uh, my arena, my formation, right here, three rangers. I've got Felix, Rene, and, and my babe, um, Diana. And that's why I run. Like a lot of people tell you that that um, that the that this rune is bad, like the range rune, uh, which I have on literally all my rangers, like right here, Diana, um, Rene, right here. And everyone, everyone swears that the the rune is bad, but it's it's really not. If if your if your comp is catered towards it, it's not a bad rune. It's it's a really good rune. So nobody really uses three rangers now. People are starting to because they're starting to realize that it's pretty OP because like all the rangers are really OP, like the light and dark and stuff. But like before, they they weren't. And like that's why I stuck up to the to the top even though it's basically free to play. Um So I went with Rangers and then I went with tanks. Cause what do the Rangers need? They need to stay alive to do their DPS. And how do how can they stay alive? Well, if there's tanks, 
giving them shields and and tanking for them, right? And then I also use a uh, priest, but you know this this isn't really needed for priests. But eventually, I do want to get this the energy increase when attacking, so they can heal even more. But right now, I'm I'm still working on like uh, maxing out my my tanks HP and stuff. So there's that. Uh, I didn't use assassins at all, and that's why my assassins tr page is like low. Like the only reason I got that to ten was because th um, this wouldn't let me uh, continue to let me max it out unless I had more points on other trees. So since this was a, such a low cost, and I just needed points so I can continue upgrading my rangers. I just put a couple on there. But this is all I mainly worked on. And like my, that's why I didn't use I don't use Terrence because I don't really use assassins. Like I have some assassins worked up. Like on my alt account I went the assassin um thing for like fast early game which I have this upgraded and then I have like some priests or I forgot what I went but it basically you only want to work on like two um so since I went ranger and warrior then the same thing for here uh warrior ranger see my mage is like really low and the only reason I got it to five is just so I could get this buff right here. And because it didn't cost that much. But these are actually pretty hard to get. These, uh, uh, whatever this is called. So, like, don't just spend it just to spend it. Like, you don't have that many opportunities to get it. So, use it wisely. And, like, I sometimes I use. Uh, assassins like uh like an advanced or even like in story mode sometimes there's like a need for you to use an assassin and that's when i use my tyrants or whatever but most of the time i can do it without ever using assassins like honestly i use bell more than Terrence, hands down and so on Terrence, i use about the same i mean i I just got a lot of copies of uh, Sota because, I don't know, a lot, a lot of copies dropped for me, so that's why he's four, but I never try to actually level him up. Um, and then the priest to 15 because these buffs are actually really nice. Because I, I do use like a priest like in every comp also sometimes. Sometimes I don't use three rangers, I just use two. And sometimes I use three. Sometimes I use three rangers and one priest and one tank. Sometimes I use two tanks, two 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 rangers, one priest, or no priest, three rangers, two tanks. Like it's it's it just depends on like what you're fighting, but like definitely for early game, you want to start working on Margaret. Now that we're done talking about tanks and what you should do with your resources, depending on, like, let's say, let me just go back to that one, one more thing before I end, stop talking about the, the guild tag. So basically what I'm trying to say is pick, pick like two things that you want to work on. Like for me, I like the Rangers and I like the tanks. So maybe you don't like the tanks or the rangers. Maybe you want to, you know, use the assassins and you want to use the, the mages. So like the mages and the priests. I mean, you're going to have to use the priests regardless. Like the priest is like the one thing that you cannot go without. So you're going to be using the priest, but you don't need to level up this tree to use the priest. Uh, you just need to level up uh, the other things so whether you want to go with mages but mages tend to fall off late game but you could definitely still use them like I still use some mages um, 
my recommendations for you being new, if you want to go through like a fast early game, like everyone does the assassins. I I never did assassins, obviously. I did rangers, but you can go the assassins. Everyone does it. It's 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 been proven. It works. Um, you could do mages, and um, put a little bit into uh, heroes. Just to get like this, you don't have to go all out like me. But just pick what you want on here and on here and just stick with that. And that leads me to the next topic now that we're done with that. So early game, that, right? So now that you've picked that... Um, you're going to slowly start summoning, right? You're going to start summoning every day. You get a summon. And these books, like, honestly, I get, like, 100 a week. So you can get 100 summons a week easily. Like, with all the events that go on, like this. Uh, this time I did buy this. Like like I said, I'm not completely um, uh, free to play. But sometimes I do spend. But, like, honestly, uh, this event has happened, like, so many times. And, like... This is the first time I've actually spent this. And the only reason I did it is because I needed these to get some more food. Because, I, like I said, I just got my cellar to... I really wanted my cellar to, to uh, buy Purple Stars. So, honestly, I never, I never buy that. But I do do this all the time. Which is free books right here. Like, this is like 10 free books... Like, you always get books. Like, every week, you could easily get 100 books every week. And then keep summoning, right? Keep summoning. There's always events happening. You always get free books. These events, uh, right here, just do these. Keep doing the time travels. These, the like, free books right there. Like, I already, I, already, I already got them right here. The five books right here. This one. This is some more summons right here. Uh, you get books in the daily summons. Uh, these watch the videos, then do the do the draw, and you could use the the points for free books. Or I use it on gems, honestly. But um, yeah, I always use these points for gems because they're the cheapest and they're the most useful thing in the game. Um, never use your gems to summon. That's a quick beginner tip don't use their their gems to summon that's a waste like this summon just use your books you get so many books there's no reason to use gems if you're gonna use your gems on summoning you could this one obviously for the first time you definitely want to do that because you'll get a guaranteed one um and i recommend getting a uh, seller for your first one i would say felix because that was my first but Honestly, I regret doing Felix first. Only because I don't regret Felix in general. I just regret it because Felix is not in the hero bombs. And since he's not in the hero buffs, he doesn't get this huge ass buff like, like Seller does. And that's the only reason why I re recommend Seller over Felix. Because Felix is an amazing unit in PvE and PvP. People just say PvE like Felix is PvE. But no, he's I use him in PvP too. Like Trust me, he, he wrecks on everything. So, uh, if you're going to go the assassin build and get assassins, I recommend getting uh, Remro um, first over Seller. Because um, you, if you're going to be working on your assassin tree, um, get Rem. If you're going to be going Rangers, get Seller first. But you're going to want both eventually. I don't have him, but... Um, they're both very good units. Um, let me go over them real quick. Yeah, those are basically the best light and darks. Um, Gar is really good. He's a good assassin also. But not as good as uh, Rimmel. Um like, they're all really good. Um, except for this girl. <laughs> but, 
but I hear she's getting a buff, so we'll see. But uh, like I said, depending on what you're going on your tree is what which one you want to get first. And uh, so either seller or remo, if you're going assassin or ranger. And then um, let's see, like when you get to like these later stages which is late game, which I'm not going to talk about. You need three different teams. Now I'm showing you right here. You need you need to beat this, this, and this. That's 15 different units. So eventually you will need a lot of units. But starting off, you don't need that many units. So, like I said, work with the rare ones. Get Steve, Jack... Um, I'm trying to see if anybody else is decent. Uh, for tanks, go with the light and dark. But honestly, even even the rare light and darks are kind of going to be hard to get early. But I would definitely start leveling them up. Like, this guy is trash. Don't use him if you want to use rangers. Um, I tried. He's He's terrible. Um, honestly, the tanks and the rares and light and dark are good. The other ones, um, not so much. And, uh, then just from there, just work on whatever you're getting the most. So whatever you're summoning, that's what you want to use early. Like, all these legendaries are going to be useful early, no matter who it is. Like, even, like, the people that say are food, like Primo, um, yeah, he's food. <laughs> like, there's, there's no, there's, this guy's food. Like, don't, I'll eventually get him up, because when you get to late game, which I don't want to talk about too much, but you can't, once you hit, like, level 260 or something like that, you can't individually level them up now. You have to, like, fill this bar up. Every time you, you, you're you you're doing this, it fills up one little bar, and then eventually you, you fill it up here, and then all your units go to 307. They're 306 right now. But early game, it's not like that, so. Um, whatever legendary you get, use the legendary. If you get multiple copies of Primo, use Primo. You can always disenchant them and then use them for food, like... It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like, early game, you want to get to the highest level in the story as possible. And and the units don't really matter. Like, you want synergy. Um, but it, it doesn't matter too much as in later, you know? Um, so, like I was saying... I think I was going to talk about Bell. Like, I'm, I'm going so off track. I'm sorry. But all this information I'm telling you, it's really important if you really want to get far in the game. Um, and if you really want to, um, I guess, maximize what you can do with little money. Like, if you want to stay free to play. Like, like... If you watch videos, I've seen videos. There's not too many videos, but I've seen videos. And they say Bella is bad. It's terrible. Or she's food. Honestly, I, I love Bella. Because I was using her even when she... Like, I, I only had her 5 star. Like, just because of her... Like, when the, first of all, when the, when the when the battle starts, she... She does this automatically. At the beginning of the battle, battle uses spider link and traps the highest attack. So, whether you're in PvP or PvE, it it just stops the highest attack on on the other team, and then they can't move, attack, or cast any skills, and then deals twenty percent attack damage every point five seconds. Yeah, she doesn't really do too much damage, but that's not the point. You're just using the CC so. You're taking that unit out of the game. They're not gaining any energy. They're not doing anything for two seconds, which is huge. Like, two seconds in this game is huge. And then, not only that, 
but she decides she's going to go up to someone and then she reduces their attack speed um, tremendously, you know? And she traps another person if it's not the t- highest attack. Uh, like whoever she goes to in the back, she'll make them unlabeled unla- un- to move um, for three seconds. So potentially in the start of the battle, she can make two people to stop moving and attacking. And if you put like some weird runes on her, like I did, she actually does damage. Like she'll do like a burn around. Um, but I used her at like two purple stars, one purple star, like just just for her passive. Like honestly, like she she can make a huge difference. Like if someone on the other team is killing like you, and you just want to shut that person down for a little bit while your other units get going. This unit is actually amazing. So she's not trash like people tell you. Um, and other people are starting to realize that now. But like before people would use her as food. And she's not food. Um, like I saying that that can help you beat some bosses right there. Even like when she's not leveled up. Um, I was going to talk about Margaret real quick. Work on her. Early game, start getting as many copies as her. Everyone should have her maxed out by late game. And how do you get copies of her, you ask? Okay, well. You go to... um, You go to the arena store. The only units that I have bought, again, because I'm only using Rangers. Um, In my other account, I don't buy the same units. Like, in my alt account, I'm mostly Assassins. So, I just get her. On every account, you should get her. Mine's maxed out, so I I don't need her no more. But, every single month, you should be purchasing one of her. She is so freaking useful everywhere. Like... She's tanky, she heals, she revives someone that dies, she buffs, she's so useful everywhere. Um, On this account, I did get copies of Diana. I don't get her no more because I got her maxed out too. I mean, I got extra copies of them. Once you get a copy of someone and you max them out to five, they're maxed out. You can't... Um, Let me go to it. You can no longer uh, get them past five. That's the max that they can possibly go. But you can, however, start making another copy. So you can have two of them, and then you can start maxing them out. But um, this is complete late game, so I shouldn't be talking about it. But uh, in Blessing Temple, you cannot use a dupe to every every um every time you 11 star a unit you get an extra five levels on here so mine's capped at like 310 but let's say like this guy lionel he's gonna be 11 star soon so then it's gonna go from 310 to 315 so that's how that works but I can't use a dupe of him. Like if I have two of them and I have two 11 stars, it's only going to use one of them. So it's not going to count it in there. So that's why I don't, I'm not making multiple copies yet. But eventually I will. I'm just going to save them because that's a really good unit. Um, so yeah, early game, start working on her. And let's go back to that store real quick. Uh, if you're working on Rangers, Get Diana. If you're working on Assassins. um, You can go for Soto. Because he is getting a buff. And he's not that bad early game. He's pretty good early game. Um, Late game he kind of falls off. But he's getting a buff. So we'll see. He might actually be good late game also. Or you can go for. um, For Belly. If you're working on Assassins. He's not that bad. He's pretty good early game too. 
Um, late game, he falls off a little bit, quite a bit, but he's still useful in scenarios. Um, like for me, um, since I was working on tanks, I also went for Vernald because I was using him as a, a sub tank. Like, not my main tank, but like a sub tank slash DPS slash um, CC crowd control, which is a stun. Um, I don't recommend getting anybody else on here. Um, unless you're like late game and you need the copies to again raise your blessing temple so you can raise your level. But besides that, um, nobody else is worth getting. So. I normally just use it on the five star fragments because it's really cheap compared to eight thousand. You get, you can pretty much get three for eight thousand, and I just need the food anyways. Or what I'm gonna start doing also because I need a lot of it is um, start using it for um, um, light food, which is right here, the the regular. Because even though it's not a legendary, you just need so much food that um, it's really useful late game. But early game, everyone should be getting her. There's no excuses. Everyone should be working on her. Um, and whether you're going assassin or uh, ranger, mages... I mean, I don't recommend, but if you are going for mages, um, she's not that bad, but I wouldn't use her to get her in the magic store. Like, she's just, she's, you can use her early, but like, honestly, anybody else, I just don't recommend getting them. Um, not early anyways. So, yeah, there's that. Um, you want to get these every day. Um, when you're starting off, it doesn't cost as much as mine and it's going to be less beads, but you're, you're going to need beads a lot. So since it's only gold and you can get gold here, get the free gold. And then you want to use some gems too. Like you could always get the gems back from just the events, doing dailies and stuff like that. Um... See, let's go back to that. I always get this, and I always get this three of them. Starting off, you might not be able to get that because that's a lot of gold starting off, but later on, you'll get so much gold that it, you can get this daily. Like, always get this daily. Whenever this is showing, get these because um, these are so rare. Um, and that's it, that's all I ever get. I never get anything else in the store. Um, Soul Store, I usually go for these, but like I said, now like I'm needing food for light and dark, so I'm, I might start getting uh, light and dark food for sure. Like I'm definitely going to start doing it. But I used to go for these when like, I needed something uh, early on. Like you can try, like let's say you, you really need a Terrence, you can try to get a Terrence here. Or you just need upgrade food for that certain fraction. Like, you could do that certain times. But normally I just go for that because it's literally, like, 5k more. Like, one one third of the price, you know, less. And it's a, a better value right here. Um, but like I said, I, I really need... I might start going for these. Especially after I... Yeah. Uh, next, the gill store. Uh, starting off, you won't have these red ones. Don't upgrade anything that is not red. Red is the last thing you can get. Uh, it's also the only useful thing you can get. Uh, any of the gold ones are not worth upgrading. Uh, so early game, like you see you had these gold ones. Do not upgrade the gold ones. Do not upgrade the green ones. Do not upgrade the purple ones. Don't upgrade anything until you start getting these. You will start getting them eventually. Okay. 
Sorry, my wife came in here and uh, brought me some food. <laughs> She's like, who are you talking to? I'm like, oh, I'm talking to you too. All right. Mm. Sorry, guys. You might hear me eating while I'm um, right now. This is going to be a long video. Honestly, I don't care because it's all useful information. And if you really want to get better at this game or get knowledgeable in this game, all the information I'm telling you is very useful. Trust me. I am a very strong player um, in general. And I'm pretty sure I'm the most free to play way you can be being on the top. Because all these people, even Wells, I can beat most Wells. And I honestly didn't spend anywhere near what they did at all. <clears throat> okay. So going back to what I was saying. If I can remember what I was saying. I don't say I don't. Because this food is delicious. Let me try to remember. Oh, we were going down the, the stores and seeing what you should get. Yeah, so don't upgrade anything unless it's red. And I was going to tell you how you get red things. So, obviously this is one way. The guild store. You get guild points. Guild tokens. You go to the guild. You get guild tokens by doing the guild dungeons every day. And then when they beat the guild boss, you know, you get the you get the chest. You get more guild tokens. You can get red items in the guild. Like, this drops red items all the time. Like, this last one. Yeah. Some I think I've gotten red items in the other ones, too. Like, two, 250 or something. I don't know. But 260 has the most chances of dropping it. I got one today. I got I got this um let me show you. I got this uh red bow for my R today in the guild dungeon. So yeah, definitely do them. Get the guild points. You can also get uh red items from doing the story mode. Doing the story mode drops red items. Uh, when you get these, there's a chance to get red items. It only unlocks at a certain point in the story, and unfortunately, I don't remember uh, what that um, part is. But it's it's like somewhere around like twenty, a little bit past twenty, like twenty one or something. If I do remember correctly, because I know, I know my alt account is just like right there. So, um, you get red gear by doing that, red gear by doing that. Um, you can buy red gear right here, which I do not recommend doing. It won't pop up until you're into a certain story mode again. You have to be high enough. But do not upgrade anything unless it's, uh... And this is red. Another thing. I only did it for my first couple of five heroes. Early into the early game. Um, let me show you an example. Uh, right here. See how I have like the 20 and the 16 on the regular? It's not like... This one where it's green, it's like meant for him. Don't do this. Like, it's fine if you do it for, like, your main unit. Um, only up to, like, 20. Nothing past 20. Like, it, it costs way too much if you go past 20. But don't, don't do it for, like, every single red thing. And definitely don't upgrade it. For, um, you see, you use these, um... these little things and it refines it it upgrades it do not upgrade regular common red ones oh without the um the actual 
like right here, let me show you. Like Diana. Like she has all dark items. Cause she's dark. And that's when you upgrade it. On your main unit. Like my my freaking Diana hits like a truck. Like she's almost seven hundred K power. Like she's a fucking beast. Um she this rune is really good too, guys. Early game. You get those. As soon as you get one of those, put it on you guys. Um one of the best runes in the game for Rangers and for Assassins. For anyone that wants some damage. Um well, let me let me eat some food real quick. Cause it basically just raises your attack the longer you're in battle because you stack it you get the two stacks you get the attack bada bing bada bang really easy to get really easy to upgrade doesn't cost too much great room um okay So now I went over how to upgrade your gear, what not to do to your gear, why you would want to upgrade your gear. Obviously, you're going to put your gear on the best units that you have, on the best people, on the highest level. And you're going to want to upgrade their gear when you get red gear and when you get the affiliation to it, you know, like the, whether it's um the castle or the the leaf or the you know dark or the light and dark whatever but yeah so you should know how gear works now and how what these things do the refining uh the other thing i could talk about gear is like Like upgrading it and ascensioning it, but honestly, that's that's late, late later game. You can't even get runes until like you hit like seventeen, eighteen level. So I'm not gonna talk about that right now. That's another video that because that's gonna take too long, <laughs> and I've already been talking for like almost an hour. So we get the gist of that. We go to the kingdom medals as a new player. I'm going to tell you right now, because I've heard horror stories of people using this to get these units. Don't use it on regular units. Only use these medals when you get 120 on either Seller or Remu if you're working on Attack, uh, on, on Assassins, or... Uh, not Sinclair. Uh, Felix. Or even Nar. Like, if you got a lot of copies of Nar, like, Nar's, Nar's awesome too. Um, but don't use it on regular units. Just save it. Use it on light and dark. It's not worth it for regular units. You'll eventually unlock... The witch list, which will guarantee you getting whatever regular unit you want. So don't... And you get these all the time. Once you get into later game, like I said, you get like 100 summons every single week. You get so many light and legendaries. So many legendaries. They're not worth to use those. So... Going back. Only use these on legendaries. Only only use it on the three I told you. Um, unless you have a copy, lots of copies. Unless you're, 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 you're um, like like you don't have any, and like let's say you only need one. Like me, I only need one more copy, and then I can eventually five star this dude or uh, ten star him, five purple star him, whatever you want to call it. Then maybe, but honestly, seller's so good. 
Felix is so good. Remo is so good that you just want to use it on them. Um. Next. And and you get these real quick. You get these by doing the events right here. Um. So you get three. You get there's different events, different times. Um. Like right here. Just do them. Eventually, you'll get enough to get one. It takes forever, but you'll get, you'll, you'll you'll do it. Next, the magic store for expedition. Um, which I need to do mine right now. Um. Uh, I already maxed this one out, which is why that's right there. Cause there's no point in me getting it. It's already maxed out. So always get these. And then, and then obviously you get discount in this, so so get these in the discount. I don't really need that many, because I already have a lot. But early game, you need a lot of these, and it's hard to get early game. So this is where you get it, and it's a discounted price. So have at it. And how you get that is uh, right here. This is how you get them. You just complete this. If you beat it at the end of the stage, you get this chest here, and then it it it, it gives you uh, a lot of them. And then every every five stages you beat, you get this little chest, and it gives you some too. And then this store is really useful too, early game and late game. Uh, I like to buy all of these. Because they're really useful for the idle system. And I always buy these. I always buy these. I sometimes buy these if I have the gems. Because like I said, I don't I don't always have the gems. And I always like to have like around 5k gems on me at all times. Just for the auctions. And just random stuff that I might need gems for. So I don't... A lot of times I skip on this. But lately I've needed a lot of food. So again, I've been doing whatever I can to get these gems. Because I need a lot of food for light and dark. Normally, I, I don't get these. Sometimes I get the books when I need some summons, but lately I haven't really been getting the books because I need gems. Um, and yeah. So once you get these little these uh, crystal thingies, then you just... Basically, you just, um, I'm going to beat it right now, just to, well, if I can beat it. This is all I really do. Uh, just to beat it real quick. And on this settings, just so I could be talking about something while I'm doing this, uh, use your friends' units. Again, add friends. Friends are very useful in this game. You can use their units in this mode, and you can use their units in the rune mode, the abyss. And... Um, Whatever unit they set. And set your units for them too. So they can use your unit. Set For this mode. You want to set either your best tank. or I use my best healer. Because nobody puts up a healer. And sometimes my healer dies. And I need a healer. So I put up my healer. And my healer is really OP. So I put up my healer. But you want to put up your best tank. Or your best healer. Uh, so people can use. And that's basically what you want to. What you want to use too when you when you borrow someone's unit, you want to use their best tank or your healer if your healer healer died. Because attack units, you should have plenty of attack units, and your attack units don't really die in this mode. Basically, you just gotta worry about your tank dying. And like I said, my 
my tank is really fucking beefy and he beefs up everybody else uh, so we should be almost done with this I apologize guys Just want to show you what happens when you beat it real quick for those new players and plus it's about to end so I need to hurry up and do it like one of my attack unit dies died right here my seller so then I just swap it out with another attack unit just like that and then continue doing it As long as my tank and my healer doesn't die, we're all Gucci. And then um, every victory you get, I already beat it. So that's what happens when you beat it. Once you beat it, you can't do no more. You're good. You're good until it resets. Once it resets, uh, you'll get this chest. You don't get it until it resets. And then check this because you get new stuff every time you beat it. Uh, more books, uh, and I always buy these and these. Um, and that's it. So it doesn't reset until uh, every three days, and it's nine hours and 22 minutes. Then once it resets, you'll get your chest, and then you'll be in another tier. So I'll be on tier five, and then I'll be going into this tier next once I beat it. Which would probably be really hard. So, oh, I know, real quick, um, let me go back. You can, um, but this, this is like the currency that you get for just beating like the stages. And then you can just rent out like things you need, like tanks, healers. Like I said, that's all you really need. And I wouldn't use gems on any of these units. They're not worth using gems. Um, but yeah. Just real quick. And to finish this off. Because I know this is a really long video. So we talked about that. We talked about how to get it. Okay. Um, this is your boons. My food's getting cold. So I'm going to try to hurry up. Um, so for your runes, you get, you get it for, um, beating the abyss and you get points on, uh, the abyss. Um, I normally go for these cause they're cheaper, they're like 2k cheaper. And like, I could, if it's something that I don't want, I could just use it as food. Um, don't use this for any of these runes, like purple ones. Just use it for the gold ones, um, the legendaries. Um, I was using it on tanks because I needed this rune. Um, I still do, but I never get it, so I stopped using it. Uh, this is a good rune too. Actually, these are all good runes except for this because you never have multiple priests. Um, this is a good rune. Like, there's good runes in here. Uh, this... Oh, no, not that one. This is like a really sought out rune right here. That's what I'm trying to get. I only have one of them. And I need another one. So that's why I was... I guess I don't have enough. Um, I wouldn't use it for any of these. Uh, I would just go for like these because they're cheaper and you can get more of them. Um, and then if you don't need it, you just disenchant it and use it for upgrades. So that's that. Last thing, guild wards. Uh, for these, uh, I would upgrade um, these and I would go for um, the Storm Berserker or the... But actually, a lot of these are really good. But in my opinion, uh, I was working on the Stormbreaker. But I'm kind of regretting it now. Because it just takes so much to get like a little bit of attack speed. And honestly, uh, what's his name does that? He has a buff for it. It's in Claire. So I think Thunder Destroyer is like the best one. 
This new rune is really fucking OP. I used it. Got past some levels because of it. This is a good rune too. Basically all these are really good. Um, These you get for free. Just by playing. Uh, but this one. I'm going to start working on this one. For, uh, for me. Because it has a chance of stunning. Stunning is really good in this game. And then this extra damage sounds really intriguing. But, um, yeah. Who's this? And that's that. Like me, I save all my heroes because I need to level them up. And then, then when I level them up, like, you know, I already have them to, like, three star and stuff like that. So, I don't use them as food if they're good units. Like her, I use as food. Um, him I use a lot as food, but I'm gonna start working on him soon. Her I use as food, but I'm gonna start working on her soon. Just cause I'm kinda getting to that real late, late, late game. <clears throat> but, that's it for this whole store thing, guys. And, the early game. Well, some of the early game. I'll make some more videos on runes. And, um actual tier list for mid late game and all that um heroes and um and more content but for now i'm gonna eat so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave it on the comment and uh yeah thank you for watching